The following program is brought to you by Pizzop Productions. Podcast fun time hour. I'm James Sane, and I'm here with my dad, and we are go- and we are going to talk about the Dragon Ball Z game. Oh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jameson, you're getting better and better with that intro every week. I gotta comment on that. You're getting so good at that. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, and you're right. We are here this week to talk about the Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse number two that we just acquired as of yesterday. So what is your initial impression of this game, Jameson? Yeah, so I'm like um, trying to figure out what to do. I'm like, so there's like these um, light... So I'm trying to find light blue houses or something, and um, and I'm trying to find this old man too. Yeah, you're trying to like we haven't really gotten to play the game too much as of yet because we literally just got it yesterday and we just haven't had the time. But yeah, the, the like it's a little different than I thought. Like I was hope I don't know I kind of bought it on a, on the whim in a sense. I was like I didn't really know a lot about the game, but like apparently the the story is you're like this time force cop or something. And you're supposed to be learning about how you're supposed to like restore history to its natural level and what or natural events or whatever. And so I think you may have to go and fight the battles of the battles. I don't know. I don't know, man, how it exactly works. I haven't again, haven't haven't sat down and played it. But yeah, the first goal is to find the old man. And we're still trying to find that guy. Yeah, it's like pretty hard for me. So when Dad like gets the time, he can look up and how to do it. So 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 that way we can just get past it, and we don't have to do it. Yeah, we're gonna look it up on the the online tutorials, and we're gonna check that out uh, this weekend. I think that's definitely our project for the weekend. Jameson is definitely we're gonna get down on some some Dragon Ball Z. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's the 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 podcast namesake. We finally talked about Dragon Ball Z on here. Yeah. So, so yeah, man, freaking, uh, we've been, uh, been, uh, sweating out the summer so far, man. It's pretty hot around here. Yeah. So like every single morning or something. Every um, single morning? Yeah. Well, sometimes I think. Okay. So when we, so when I went out to lock the gate. It was actually nice and warm. Well, mm, nice and yeah. it, it was like the evening. Just not, yeah, it, it's like it. We're only getting as cold as like 65, 70 in the evening. It's pretty, it's pretty warm. So yeah, when I leave to work in the morning, it's pretty decent. Like I haven't had to wear a coat in a couple months. So it's pretty. We're definitely in the dog days of summer, as they say. So yeah, we got to go swimming the other day at Dustin's house. That was pretty. That was pretty dope, wasn't it? Yeah, I was like, I was like. You know, on the slide, because you have, like, a slide, it's pretty fun. Yeah, man, they got, Dustin has, like, this old school slide, so, yeah, we totally got to make some, do some cannonballs, we were able to make some big splashes. Yeah, I've been doing cannonballs right next to my dad. Dude, you scared me that (laughs) one time, I was like, oh, oh, what's going on around me? (laughs) Wait. Wait, when I first did it? When you first, yeah, like one of the times. I'm not, I don't remember exactly which time it was, but you jumped around me and like it totally caught me off guard. <laughs> it was pretty, it was pretty epic, man. So it was pretty cool though. We, we hung out with Brandon yesterday and Eric and Dustin was nice enough to invite us over there. So that was really fun. Yeah. And mm, there's like this. I just want to tell you this, but... Yeah, like, no, this is your podcast. You say what you want, Jameson. It's not about the Dragon Ball Z game, but um, there, you guys heard of it if I told you. It's like the Far Cry game. Oh, and, yeah, you've talked about Far Cry before. And, um, <clears throat> so we're all, we turn the Dustin's game, the, like, the one, the one where, when we went swimming. Mm-hmm. What game? Far Cry Four, or Far Cry? We, Far Cry is ours. We, we had that snipe. That sniper game was his. 
Yeah. So we're gonna re so we're gonna return that. Uh huh. And he's gonna give us a Far Cry. Oh yeah, he was gonna something. he was gonna let us borrow a Far Cry like Outrage or something or like Outrage or I don't know. That's your guys' game, man. Like I'm I just okay. So okay, I got some news. I got some news. Guess what? Guess what I ordered today? What? Guess. Hmm. A new um controller. <gasps> close, close. Uh, no, but I did price those out yesterday. I went to GameStop, and um, they had the PS3 controllers because we need to get a new PS3 controller because we only have really one good working one. Yeah. The other two are kind of broken down, but I found they're like twenty bucks, dude. They're pretty cheap. No one was broken down. Well, we have two of them. And I thought the other one. I thought because there's three of them. I know one of them. That one plug-in one's kind of messed up. But what about no. the other one? I thought the other one was. Does the other one work pretty well? The. Because there's two. There's two generic ones, and there's the actual PlayStation brand. The. The, the plug-in one. It's okay. It's fine. It's just. I thought one of the, like the L L one buttons or something was like jammed in or something. No. That's it's <clears> all, <throat> that one's. We have two good ones. Mm-hmm. And one, and oh, I see. Okay. And we have two good ones, and we have one bad one. Oh, okay. Well, I always see you guys play with the one that the plug-in one. I just assumed that one was all messed up. Um. Well, I, re- I like using the ones where you don't plug it in because some because I like to sit. Sometimes I like to sit far. Are you like you're always you got your little spot that you sit there and you play on the the little because we have this like little trampoline thing that's for exercise. But it's basically Jameson's little gaming station. <laughs> he likes to sit on that thing while he sits there and plays video games. <laughs> I do that all the time. He does that all the time, dude. It's crazy. So, nah, man. Um, Keep guessing, though. Yeah, it's not a PS3 controller. Oh, I wish it was. Hmm. Uh, it's better than a PS3 controller. <gasps> oh, I don't know. It's a game. It's a game. Cool. Let's see what it is. Another Far Cry game? No. Oh. But on that note, Jory was saying when he's coming back from camp that he they were gonna he's they were gonna try to stop. And he 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 saved up his money that he has from camp. And I don't know if he he's it sounded like he wanted because he he's been talking about getting Far Cry Five forever. And like I told him, I was like, we'll save up thirty bucks and I'll match the other thirty. Wait, I thought. Was- and we'll we'll get it. I thought it was. Um, <clears throat> the- Sorry, I apologize for my voice, man. My voice is like oh. Rusty, man. I thought um he been wanting Far Cry 4. We already have Far Cry 4. Met Far Cry... 5. It's the new one. Oh. oh my. He wants to get the new one. So I'm just saying, on the way back, he, he they may be stopping there and picking that up. Yeah, actually... I Which, wouldn't... shout out to the GameStop in Pasco, man. Pasco, Washington. That, that was actually a pretty sweet little store, man. Yeah, so there was we, a lot more of a selection for stuff uh, compared to the one that we have locally here. Yeah, so um, so we have Far Cry Four, and Joy's gonna get Far Cry Five. Mm-hmm. So when Joy gets Far Cry Five, that's his game. That's his one, and Far Cry Four is mine. Oh, is that how it is? Well, I just figured, you know, we all, it's all communal because we all share the video games in the house. Yeah, we made, be- we made a promise about that. Well, it's just, it's just, the, been... it's just kind of how it happens in families. You have to share, so. He's me and Jory. Technically, I own all of them. Just, <laughs> except, you know, Jory, if, if he pays for his own. If We're he... not going to get into the technicalities, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, Jory. One in our, like, Far Cry own one. You want your own disc? Like, uh, you know that Batman game that, that you, um, pay, that, um, I paid? The RKM Asylum? Yeah. That's a fun game. I like that one. That one's really fun. Wait, the Batman game? Yeah, the Batman one. That's, yeah. dude, I love Batman games. Batman's, like, my favorite, dude. I yeah. love Batman. Um... That's my. It's like my favorite game, and we'll go back to what, what I was talking about. Right. Um. So me and Jory made. A, we were starting to get a little angry, actually, because we both wanted our own. So then we made a promise that um, Far Cry Five is his, 
And Far Cry 4 is mine. Oh, is that oh, is that the deal? Yeah. Well, he is technically paying for the game. I told him I'd match him to 30 bucks. Like, I told him just to rate, save up 30 bucks from working around the house. And I would, I would cover the other 30, but yeah. he's got to pay for it on his own with his camp buddy. I mean, that's fine with me. Yeah, um, so I was, like, helping. I helped Mom, and I got a popsicle. That's what's up. You can't even guess uh, what I got, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a game, right? It's kind of like Far Cry. <sighs> it's a first-person game. So it's a one so like player. you see it. Well, no, it's not one player. First person is like when you see it from their point of view. Like when you, all you see is their hands. Like, like those. You see it from their point of view. That's that's a first person. It's you had it and then you returned it. No, that was Doom, dude. We bought Doom and I played it for the one evening and I just I, yeah, I had to return that. That's that's a. You didn't like it. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's definitely. There's a reason they ID'd me for it. It's just like you look down, you're standing on like some questionable thing. I don't know. It's just like it, it's fun. All I gotta say is just to be able to like use a first person shooter um, on in the on the VR headset, dude. That's the way of the future, bro. Like when they release, oh man. Like when they like, oh man. The virtual reality, the VR headset is just a whole new thing. Playing a first person shooter but yeah no i returned that and then that's how we got dragon ball uh xenoverse which i will say i got totally screwed over on that return for doom because i re- i was trying to return it i had my- i just bought it the day before right i just you know i made the decision that morning i was like, right, i'm just gonna return it and so i go there and the guy's like trying to give me the return he's like you know has to bring his manager over because the thing wasn't working he's like oh yeah is that is that a new one uh, new copy i'm like yeah he's like oh once you guys open once you open a new copy that you buy from them they they won't they won't return it so i had to take the freaking buyback option which was eight bucks for the 20 that i spent but luckily enough i had other video games that i had with me that like that i was already going to return anyway because i was ultimately my goal was to have enough money to get Mario t- uh, Tennis for the Switch. Yeah. But I um, failed short because I didn't get my whole money back. So, anyway, keep going. Hmm. I wonder what it is. It's a type of game where you... It's a first-person shooter. We have multiple Sna- copies of a it. A sniper game. The- and... Zombie bees. Zombie bees. Zombies. Zombie game. What's the new uh, Call of Duty? It's Call of Duty World War Two. Yeah, they had on. They had a sale. I got an email today from like I get emails from GameFly, and it's like that. Remember that thing that we used to get the games in the mail? Remember when we had yeah. that service? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was like twenty bucks. They were getting. They're getting rid of all of a bunch of their used copies, so <laughs> I got it for pretty cheap, man. So I was like, ah, oh. they had a they had the the one game I wanted to get, I wanted to get for you is um they had the Ninja Go game, the Lego Ninja Go. Your face, it's just like, oh my gosh, there is a such thing as a Ninja Go game. I want it. That'd be cool to get that for the Switch. They have that game for the Switch too. Hey, wait, can, when are you gonna get it? Which I don't know. You gotta earn some money. You gotta do some chores. Add, add There's dollars. toilets to scrub around here, ladies and gentlemen. We have two toilets in this house. There's uh, a garbage can that can be uh, the garbage can be taken out. Not right now. Dishes are already done, but hey, guess what? That's the great thing about dishes. There's always gonna be more. You need to go start doing some work, and we'll we'll talk about. I have two dollars, dude. You have two dollars. You need eighteen more. It's a twenty dollar game, so they have a bunch of dude. But that's the cool thing about GameFly, though, is like they sell games he- really cheap, dude. So like you can get them used pretty ch- way cheaper than what you're paying at GameStop. GameStop freaking rips you off, dude. I got a dollar fifty back for the Madden because I traded in uh, my copies of Madden sixteen and Madden uh, seventeen because I have Madden eighteen. So it's like I don't ever play those. So I, I I took a bunch of games that I just never play, and I just swapped them out. I looked at the receipt um, earlier today. I got a dollar fifty for both those games, and to think that at one point they charged you sixty bucks for those games, brand new, one hundred and twenty bucks, and you literally get a a dollar fifty for a trade in. You know, I sh- I shouted out GameStop and uh, Pasco earlier just because they have a nice facility and they have a pretty fun selection, but the prices they charge you 
are complete highway robbery for what they pay you out for a used copy and then what they turn around and sell that. I'm not trying to hijack the podcast and make turn this political, but GameStop, come on. Ah, I'm shaking my fist angrily at you guys. Rip off con artists, man. <laughs> Buy from Gamefly, dude. <laughs> Way cheaper prices. Go ahead. How much? Like I do twenty bucks, dude. They wanted like they want like thirty five bucks for a used copy of that because I saw it with the day before when we went to pass when we were in Pasco for thirty five bucks they wanted a used copy of the Call of Duty game, which isn't bad, you know. But to, to get it for twenty, I mean fifteen bucks cheaper than that, dude. Please, all day, every day, dude. Take that discount, Jameson. Get a bargain shop. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I, I know I totally took over this podcast. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, what do you want to talk about, man? So, we're getting Call of Duty World War II, and that's pretty epic. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. When are you going to get the nin- Lego Ninja Oh, the Ninja Go game? That's when you earn 18, 18 more dollars. No! So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We'll come back next week, and we'll find out if Jameson was no. able to earn that $18 around the house. <laughs> Cliffhanger, cliffhanger. <laughs> what games? Make him turn it tune in next week. Dad, why can't you um why can't you just pay for it? Why can't you? <laughs> that doesn't teach you responsibility. You I'm, can't just get your I'm not the US government and just I'm not just gonna give you things for free. <laughs> James, you gotta learn the worth of a dollar, man. Earn it. I know how to work. Then do it and you'll get the money for I've it. I've been working at B boxes. Oh, I know. You tell them about your uh, your guys' little venture that you guys been doing. Yeah, you guys been working all. That's basically consumed your summer, building B boxes. So what you do? So we have a stapler gun. So we shoot a stapler. Um, I really don't want to do that, but I can do it. It's just I never. I only did it once. It's just someone was holding it for me. And I didn't, and I didn't want anyone holding it for me. And so you basically so does Jory do all the work and you just you do all the like the grunt work grabbing stuff and building it yeah well Jory builds it well Jory builds too mm-hmm. and he stables a lot I mean a lot but he works yeah so your mom was painting the boxes his last you can see them right there. I know. They Two look pretty ones. sweet. So you guys are selling bees, though. See? There you go. There's your 18 bucks right there. Mom's a really good painter. Oh, Mom's a really good painter. Yeah. So, um, if Mom was... You can, you can, you can talk loud. If Mom... Um, if Mom knows about this, well... She doesn't listen to our podcast. Don't worry about it. You can say whatever you want. Oh, yeah. I know she doesn't listen. Oh, yeah. Because she doesn't have the podcast app. Oh! oh! I think she does, actually. Huh? I finally got her to download it on her phone. <gasps> what? Got to get, gotta pump those numbers, bruh. Got to pump those numbers. Gotta, we got to mm-hmm. we gotta tell people, pump, you know, pump, subscribe pump, to our podcast. Mm-hmm. Oh, rap, Give rap. us a five-star rating, 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 oh, rating. Oh, rap, 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 just, rap People should be, just rap, be happy rap, I don't rap, pound rap. that down their freaking throats every freaking episode. Hey guys, make sure to give us the five star rating, or give us a, give us a four. Come on, three on average. I would say our our podcast rank basically about a three every week. It's like, Dad, I'm I don't nah, actually. Man, we bring the heat. I don't actually mean this, but okay. this is okay. a long podcast. I know this is like almost like a twenty minute podcast. Dang, we can wrap it up, dude. I'm I'm ready for bed. I'm going to bed. But it's like let's do for a hundred. No, it's like we'll do, do it. like a three-hour podcast. How about that? We'll stay here for three hours and talk. Yeah, I actually like doing this. I I could do this all day. I, I did mean, like almost an hour by myself last week on my <laughs> podcast, and like that was a lot. I could do it this for like for a hundred days. I could sit here for a long time and sit here between two people. Like me and you could sit here for. I could sit here on a, for a hundred days. And do this. Dude, we may, would, you know how many listeners we would get if we sat here for a hundred days and just recorded a podcasts? fifty hundred. Dude, you know how many people that is? That's so many people. Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. That's a goal. These are squad goals. Yeah, but what if you get all sleepy? Well, then we'll do it in shifts. You'll sleep and then I'll go sleep. 
we'll and trade. Then, and then we'll be up at the same time. And then, we'll and then if somebody has to go poop, you, you hold up the, <laughs> the two fingers. If you have to do number one, you That's, just throw up the one. Hold on. Um, hold, I'm sorry about this, but um, I'm going to take the headphones off for a little bit. Yeah, they can't see you, so don't worry about that. Wait, no, hear me. <laughs> no, hear me. So, hold on. Okay. Just okay. a minute. Do, 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 do. You don't want to talk about these? Da- All right, we want to talk about poop then. Da- Everybody poops. Jeez, da- Jameson. I don't want to. Da- da- <laughs> my da- podcast. All right, it's fine. We'll clean it up. I, I, hey, man, I respect that. You're cleaning up your podcast, dude. We, I don't have to talk potty talk. I, I, I can. Uh, I don't have to be there. Wait. So can I start doing like? podcast by myself now? dude you can do whatever you want it's your podcast if you want to do extra episodes and do bonus episodes that's up to you the work rate is decided upon you man i just i basically just need you to do one a week i just need to make sure that we have something to release on a wednesday anything else you want to do man that's up to you jameson so dad on one um you can do anything that you want now so i'm gonna start being on myself but you don't set it up from because oh, i don't know how to do that that's fine you kicking you so this is the last time kevin porter's on the the dragon ball z happy fun time hours is this the hey i don't need you anymore type type uh conversation we're having here i guess so because it's cool i guess well, i mean if, a little if, rude but whatever no if you if you haven't came up with that idea then i want to set it you're right. I, I, sh- I shot myself in the foot. You're right. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. All right. So, Anne, so you know, set it up for me, and if I, get, if I forget, it's Tuesday? We got to record. We just have to release on Wednesday, so you can so, record whenever. So, if I forget, you can tell me. I always remind you. I'm the one that always reminds you. So. I'm like your manager. <laughs> yeah. So, you can go now. I'll be... I'm just gonna be here waiting. Well, no, it's next week. Next week we start that. I'm already. You already introduced me. You can't kick me off mid episode. I got so much more stuff to say. One more word. One more. All right, bye, ladies and gentlemen. It sucks. I wish he could still be here, but he said it. So yeah, I guess it's just me now. So, and. I'm just so happy that um that I'm here with my family too. Yeah. So one time my dad he was right like standing over here. <laughs> Wait, no. I meant um <laughs> So my brother was walking down the hallway. Hey. Okay. And when I, when I saw him, I literally scared him. It was so funny. And, um, so, yeah, that was pretty fun. And, um, it's like, woo, I had fun. Uh, uh. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. And, so, yeah, Sam, yeah, now I have a girlfriend. And, to let you know. And her name is Sage. And she likes me as a boyfriend. And I like her as a girlfriend. And. Bye. Have fun. Hola. Bye bye. That means bye. And see means yes. Bye bye.